you guys want to know how to make your own RPG, you guys come to the right place. And we're going to start right now. Hey everyone, this is BW Game 16 back with another video. In this video, we are going to be starting a new series on this channel. Um, uh, and this is going to show you how to make your own very own RPG. Um, so I didn't really get started anyway, so uh, yeah. Um, so, anyways, yeah. Um, this is, uh, I already got set up. Uh, as you guys know, one need to know how I got set up. Uh, uh, all you have to do is just, uh, all you have to do is just, uh, all you have to do is just, uh, go into your, get your, I'll go to your mods or, Oh, search your RPG, search your RPG kit, uh, link for that will be in the description, and just, all you have to do is just, um, put everything where it needs to go, and ungrip it, and you're good. Just read, you can search for more details, and so yeah, um, but, uh, yeah, um, like, uh, like, for example, like, you had to, like, for example, just put workspace in workspace, put chat in the chat, put start pack in start pack, put start day, start GUI in start GUI, and etc. And so yeah, and if you guys if you guys really want to see, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below, and comment below for more video ideas. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so uh, anyways, um, here uh, we're, I was gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna call this new. Basically, you, you guys, we today, we, me, you can make your own RPG. You can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna make my RPG, and I'm gonna call it uh, and I'm gonna call, and I'm gonna make my RPG, my RPG, the urban, urban RPG. And yeah, it's just basic RPG stuff, so yeah. Um, so we're gonna get started, shall we? So, um, this is the space here. Um, and I'm gonna give you, show you guys what everything does and stuff, so yeah. Um, so first off, this is the healing fountain. Um, as you can see, um, the healing fountain. I didn't see the healing fountain when you um, jump into it, it heals you. I got these two small locations, these are, just, those, these are where you'll spawn at the start. Thor pond. This is where um you'll sell your swords. This is where you buy your swords. Um, the iron armor. Uh, this is this is the starter armor. I can show you how to do that. I'll show you how to do that in a later tutorial. Um, and uh, this, is, this is important thing to spawn. This is the to spawn part. It basically basically like there's gonna be a button up here like on a GUI, and um it's gonna and it's basically going to uh teleport you to here when you're when you teleport spawn. I just do know there's, there's a cooldown one for that, so be do be worried a bit of that. Okay. And here is the main focus we have today. Um the L far I added myself, this is what this is what actually this is what the actual thing looks like. This is actual but this is actually what so there's no health bar to it, but I did I'll show you I will show you guys how I did the health bar, so yeah. Now this is basically what it looks like without the health bar, but I just added that because I quite liked it. If you, but if you guys want to do a tutorial on that, um, I will sh I'll be more than willing to show you guys how to do a tutorial on that. So yeah, okay, so let's get started, shall we? Um, so let's see here. Um, so of course uh, everything seems to be fine from here. Um, so uh, so let's get started, shall we? Um, and show you what everything does. Um, you have um, you have the game box. Uh, this is basically you just don't really have to you can do anything with that. Um, the, okay, so let me show you go through a walkthrough of where, th where everything is. The game GUI. This is basically where you store all your game GUI. I have the store pawn shop GUI and the uh, store shop GUI. And so yeah, you have the game items. Uh, these are basically where you store your swords and other game items and stuff. Game remotes. Uh, you do not have to mess with this unless you're a pro scripter like not me. Like not me. I'm not really a pro scripter. Okay then. And game config. This is really important. I recommend you uh, check this out. Okay, so first of all, uh, I I just already did all this, but um, basically um, you can basically need whatever this. Is. So I'm gonna show you guys what this is. So of course you might think, oh my god, this is going to be terrible. Don't worry, guys, I can help you with that. Okay, so over here uh, on line five, this is the game title. Um, so um, on line five, just oh, double click it to open the script here. Um, but don't worry, this is replicate rep 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 storage by the way. So yeah, um. Game title, um, I recommend, this is where you put your name title, your name title, I put Urban RPG, this is your game version, um, and, and, and game circuit alpha, you may wonder what deck all this has to do with. Basically, is there, like, gonna be a top thing, or up in here, like, alpha, if, if I, like, play it, if I, like, if I, like, play it, play it, it's gonna be, like, a top thing up here, that says, like, um, 
the basic sets like um the game version stuff. Um, the level max uh, is where um is where our levels cannot pass the number. Uh, and I put level 50. Um, for now, that's all you just start out with. Um, these three I don't want you mess with. Uh, that is automatic saving, manual saving, save and exit, save tool storage. I don't even mess with um save on any of these three, but um if you guys do want, but um yeah, automatic saving basically like saves every five minutes when manual saving is off, uh, every ten minutes man when manual saving is on. And is manual saving saves whenever X player types um semicolon save into the chat may not work on some devices. And um save on exit. Um and uh this is this is how you keep all these true because that's what I usually do. And so yeah, um and finally but not least, game UI. Uh you might not see it right now, but the game UI. Okay, so basically what the game UI does is um so basically this is what the UI looks like. The UI will look like. Um this is the text color, I believe, and this is a uh, theme. Uh, right now it's only uh dark, but in the future they say that it's gonna be light, but it has happened yet, but uh, who well, oh well. Okay, so without further ado, so I believe you guys are sure you guys I showed you guys the whole good stuff, the whole stuff about this, and so yeah, um, yeah, yeah, okay, and yeah, um, what else is next? Oh yeah, oh yeah, and uh, there's one more thing that was that'll appear up in here. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So don't forget to grab a uh, a, don't forget to grab the kid this kid section extension i already have it up and i already have it up in here too i'll i'll link the those i'll link that in the description too and uh same with um and, and same with our stuff that might you might need that uh, i recommend and yeah um basically you know what these are is basically um uh all the this is basically all the all the monsters are in different sizes um like you have a mini boss size uh you have a mini boss size uh Boss size and a normal size. I personally think it might work, and I personally think it, might, it can be very helpful at times. So then, I think I already got you for walk, get you the rock through, walk through on what's been happening. So then, uh, without further ado, let's get started, shall we? Okay then. So then, if so then, let's get started. All right. So um, let's see here. So then uh. Now then, we're gonna go. We're gonna config the enemy. Go into okay. Open the the, the start mob. Start a mob. Um, then I'll show you what guys what the heck is going on in here. You might think, oh my god, this is gonna be insane. Well, don't worry guys, I'll walk you through it. Okay, so I'll show you, give you guys all the examples. Um, some of them I, I can't really show you right now. But let me in fact let me just um uh do something real quick. Let me just um uh. Back hang on a second. I'll be right back. In fact, hang on a second. I'm just hang on a second. Okay, so then, uh, I removed my camera for a reason. Okay, so first off, um, as you can see, um, the okay, so as you can see the, so as you can see, I just, so as you can see, um, this is what it'll, it'll really look like. This is what it'll look like. This is what it looks like from the start. It's named Grass Monster. Um, I renamed it to Orc. Um, okay, so first off, um, I'll show you what everything looks like. The frick! Hang on a second. Why the heck is it? I can't get rid of that thing. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay. Please stand by one. Ah, uh, shoot. Please stand by. Ah, dang it. <laughs> wow, this is got embarrassing. Oh well, everyone. Sorry about that. Okay, one. All right, one. So we're back in business now. All right. So as you can see here, um. All right. So as you can see, uh, this, this is a grass monster. Um, this is the name. Uh, name of the mob. You can be creative and name whatever you want. Uh, mob level. Uh, what the level is. Um, basically, it's basically the level is recommended to kill. Um, the XP. Uh, how much the experience XP does. This mob drop. This is need to level up. And how much gold does this mob drop? This is needed to purchase content, aka swords and or stuff like that. Um, mob health. Um, how much health does this this beside beside enemy have? Um, what speed can it walk? 
see, and this is obviously six. I have to tell you that 16 is the default player speed, 15 is the ring for a star mob, and I did that trick true actually. And mob damage. Um, what damage does the mob do to you each hit? Um, just you just put that on there. Respawn time. Just basically how much I don't mess with that. How much the mob respawns after getting killed? If you ha if you want to go miss do 60 times minute, you guys are just you can just you can just like copy all this code and then you're good. Okay, another thing you can do also do is um. All right, here's a cool one. I quite like this one. Follow distance. Um, how far away do you detect you? How long far away for the mod? How long do you need to be for the mod to, to detect you and start chasing? Uh, the, the default is 20, and uh, basically they mean studs. So basically they mean studs. If you guys don't know, um, like if you guys don't know studs, I'll let me show you. Let me show you. Uh, Okay, let me get started, shall we? Uh, Tom, let me find a part. Okay, so basically, um, hang on a second. What do you mean, like studs? You see, like, this is um, this is one stud. See, like, this is one stud. Um, if I like go in twenty, if I go twenty, they'll basically see you from like here. So, uh, yeah. Um, and that's basically your review of twenty studs. Um, okay then. Um, so you're going that and the follow delay. Um, this is basically uh, you don't really. This is basically how much is how long until the mob updates where your your location is at. Um, so our wep draws weapon. Uh, this is for bosses and I'll tell you guys how to do that eventually. I'll tell you guys how you guys how to do that, but not in this video. Um, and yeah. Okay, okay, one and uh, hold on. and does mob teleport after death event? and uh. Will the player get teleported on mob death? And uh, and I usually do this for like super bosses, super bosses and stuff. So yeah. Okay, okay then. I think we got this now. I think we got that now. Okay. So then, I think we got it now. Okay then. Now then. I think we got um it now. Uh, if you guys do and yeah. Okay, so then let's get started. Let's make a uh, okay. So usually I don't let you mess with the first and style mobs and some, but for this video I'm gonna call. I'm just gonna get uh. I'm just gonna begin make a villager and because um we're just gonna get you know I think I'm gonna make a band or something like that a uh, bandit because I personally think that it might, it might work. This is a retro style bandit, but oh well. Yeah, look, there's bandit. Okay. So, uh, I'm gonna, so what I usually do, I usually just copy, usually if I really want to copy, so I'm just going to copy, yeah, same guys, uh, so basically what you want to do, oh shoot, right. so basically what you want to do, okay, back, I'm back here everyone, how's it going, alright, so basically what you guys want to do now is, um, usually what I usually do is search up, is you just get a, um, you should just get a um, model of some other of something I want to search for. If I don't, then I can be creative and stuff. So yeah, but um, to me, I think this looks pretty good for now. Um, but yeah. Okay, so what I usually do is just copy and paste the stuff into here. Uh, I'll find its head. Um, and I'll copy it to here. And, uh, delete his face, yeah. And then, so yeah. And then I think we're good. Okay. Now then. Now that we got a... Uh... Now that we got a crappy looking bandit, uh, I think I can make it a little better. Do you want... I think I can. Well, uh... And guys, this is where you can be. You can see where I like to be really creative here. Uh, this is where I.
And I think it's the best we can get to. Okay, one. So then. So it looks like this is the best we can get to. So then. Now then. How are we gonna... So then. So then. As... So then. All we have to do is just, um... Rename it Bandit. I don't usually mess with the stats on it. I usually don't usually mess with the stats all before I start a mob. When I'm... When I'm messing with the starter mob. So yeah. And I think it's... And, um... Y'all, you also are gonna have to um uh, name it bandit. Name the name it on bandit here. Go on, so basically, you guys will really need help. Just go into go into um uh, billboard GUI. Go into the enemy humanoid um tech um billboard and text label, and then rename grass monster into bandit, and then you're good. And then I think and then all you have to do is go into, and all you have to do is, um, all you have to do is just go into here. And you're good. Uh, I will be more creative next, well, I will, I will try to be, I will try, well, this is just, just start, a tutorial, so of course I, um, so yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys do want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe, like, and turn on the bell for more video ideas. And yeah, um. This is the, so yeah, if you guys do, and so yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching, and um, the next tutorial will be, um, then there'll be another tutorial later. Thank you guys for watching, and this is BWG16 out. Peace.